Greetings everybody. In today's lecture, we will be discussing the graded assignment 2 of Python module. Now, let's start the session. The first question of the, of the assignment is, we are given a common data for both the questions 1 and 2. And the common data is, the, is this Python code. The first question is, select all valid words from the options given below. As we see, this is a, we see that this is a multiple select question. So we need to select all the options which satisfy the condition. The condition is that a word is term valid, is term valid. if the output of the following code is true and when the word is given as, as the input to the code answers of questions 1 and 2 will be based on this code and now let's run this code on our replit console yes this is the this is the question Now, word. This is the this is the input that we give to the console, which is word. And initially we have and initially we have we have assigned a value of false. That is, we created a flag with the with the false uh, with the false value, which is termed as a valid here. And now, it's important to make note of this point. both a and z are in lower case what does this indicate as in general english the okay, the letter a is the first letter and the letter z is the last letter so we just need to make sure that all the i mean all the all the options which are given that are five options must start with an with a small letter and must end with a small letter so this is the first assumption that we need to make and, and moving on further if a if a less than is equal to word of z, word at zeroth index this is word at zero index word at zero we need to make sure that the we need to, we only check for the first alphabet of the given input we only need to check that the first we need only we only need to check the first alphabet because in the third line we are given that the starting and ending letter the starting and ending alphabets would be in the lower case so in case if the first letter doesn't seem to be in the lower case then this entire then this then this entire if statement doesn't execute and therefore the, and therefore we will be printing the value of valid which is a false then that's applicable only when the first letter is not in lower case and now which are not in lower case in the given options from the given options we see that trumpet and test it these three these two options are not in the in the small letters in the very first letter we see that t is capital and here also t is capital so now let's run this code to find out the answers yeah we we have the first option as test it yeah we see that the answer is true and hence this is correct now the second option is trumpet yeah this is also true trumpet is also true and now is the third option is is now let's check that as well yeah we see that the third option is also true 
and hence the correct options for this question are a b and c question 1 answer is a b c and now we are done with the first question now let's move on to the second question let me clear the console here as well and now now we'll be to we now we'll be looking at the second question going by the code given in the common data under what conditions can a word be termed valid from the above to from the above question we can conclude that it is certainly not true or it's not certainly valid when the first and when it begins uh, okay we can uh, we we are uh, we know we knew we came to know that both the last two options which are d and e doesn't seem to be valid because they have started with the uh, they have started with the upper case but that option isn't given here in this question in these options it's not there so we need to check that manually as well a word is termed valid if it begins with a with a lower case letter now let's uh, let us run this as well a word is term valid if it begins with a lower case letter now let us check for that case as well it is starting with uh, now let us just let no let's just uh, run the uh, run these options with me with some minor changes is to if it begins with a lower case letter now now let us assume that it started with a lower case letter and let us uh, let us give the remaining letter then uh, now let us give the other words or other letters as capitals and let us run this and we see the output as a false because why it begins with the lower letter that has this has been satisfied but it's a false this is because in the question please see here that both a and z are in lower case hence the first and last both the characters need to be in small lower case letters and hence the first option is wrong here let me cross this out 